The daily drudgery of women has been a favorite topic of concern. It has also been a remarkably neglected area in developmental planning. Until growing environmental consciousness began linking women to problems of water scarcity and deforestation. The need for fuel wood is critical both to a woman's daily routine and to deforestation. Large quantities of fuel wood are burned for cooking in India every day. Mostly it is fuel wood that is used for cooking in over 90% of rural households. The number of hours a woman spends in collecting that fuel wood depends on various factors. The terrain and the level of deforestation is related to her effort and the distance she must cover. The hills of Uttar Pradesh offer just one example. Women often trudge over 10 kilometers for five hours in search of fuel wood. Irrespective of age, health or even pregnancy, one woman often carries a head load of nearly 35 kilos. And then she must cook. The daily exposure to smoke, whether it is from dung, crop residues or fuel wood, is a common phenomenon. Recent studies have indicated that such exposure is unhealthy and unsafe for women. The concern over deforestation may ultimately also reduce health hazards for women, like heart disorders, respiratory infections, anemia and stillborn births. The crux here is the cooking stove used by rural women. A national program for improved cooking stoves or chulhas was launched in 1983. Some schemes have been successful, but there have been problems of user friendliness and malfunctioning. Women are now being motivated to take part in designing the chulhas and make the national program successful. Scientific R&D is focusing on the energy efficiency of these chulhas. The aim is to reduce the quantum need for firewood as well as alleviate problems of smoky cooking areas. About 16 million chulhas have been installed in India. The potential requirement is nearly a hundred million. Major thrusts in R&D and plan implementation are needed to make improved chulhas a truly mass-based program. <laughs>